What's going on guys, it's Panjan here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate Fallout 4 FPS guide. Now this is going to be how to increase your FPS, get a much more stable game, unlock the frame rate, do all the mouse fixes, disable mouse acceleration and fix pretty much any issues you're having with the game as long as you can actually run it. Now first off what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you um, a, a small little utility that you can use to first off increase the frame rate and change the majority of stuff. Later on in the video I'll be showing you some other things like a little bit of software you can download which will unpark your CPU cores. Um, that'll be later on in the video. If you want to skip to a specific point make sure you uh, head on down to the description below and there is everything time stamped depending on whether or not you followed any of my previous FPS guides and any other games you might be able to skip some of these uh, skip some of these steps here. But anyway, on to the FPS guide. First off, what I want you to do is head on to the description below and you'll see a link for a uh, Fallout 4 configuration tool. Now this thing is literally going to save you so much. So what we want you to do is to download that, but do not open it yet. Don't do anything with it first off. Just put it in a little folder. Um, I will include it in the Fallout FPS increase by Pangino um, folder. If you want to go down below and download that as well, it will include some software which you guys can download as well, which is a CPU and park thing for later on. So just download that, leave it on your desktop, don't do anything with it yet. First off, what you want to do is go into your Fallout 4, hit play, and it will do the default launcher. Now, here's the settings I normally run on. At the beginning of the video, you would have been shown or be shown now at some point. On Ultra, I get around about 80 FPS at the point of where I was doing my test. After all these FPS fixes, I was getting 150 at this point, and I will provide screenshot proof and video proof later on in the video. So that is an increase of 70 FPS just on my system alone. So uh, yeah, you, you can really increase quite a lot. So first off, what I want you to do is start optimizing your game. If you Even if you run your game in Ultra and you want better performance, there's a lot of things you can turn off here that you will never really need. First off, what I like to do is turn uh, 16 samples down to 8. Now, if you have a really low-end system, turn it off. Best thing you can do here is turn everything as low as possible, like turn this all down to medium or low. Or literally, as low as you can possibly go is the better. You'll get much better performance, but it just depends on... You have to create your own balance whether or not you want better frame rate or better visuals, and just fine-tune it for a little bit, because once it's done, it's done forever. So what I like to do is I like to put my samples on 8 times. Um, and the other thing I have on TAA... Um, but I might actually turn that, I'll turn that off for now and we'll see what FPS I can get because even with my after FPS fix I was using TAA. What we're going to do now is go into texture quality, shadow quality. Now a lot of this stuff is really CPU demanding and it's really not necessary. Um, first off, God Rays. I like to turn God Rays to either low or off. I'm going to go for off because God Rays on this game are literally the thing that is going to absolutely kill your FPS no matter what system you have because it's optimized for Nvidia so you want to get rid of that it's absolute shite. Um, what I have is I go texture quality ultra, shadow quality ultra, shadow distance I have set to medium, lighting quality and decal quality I have set to, actually no I have decal, decal quality set to medium, this set to high, god rays turned off, depth of field I have standard low and uh, I use SSAO for ambient occlusion and I use all of this on besides uh, motion blur. If you do want to turn down a lot though, like I said, make sure you can turn all of them down even lower if you're not getting good FPS. Um, so, you know, do this alone, boot the game, see how much of an FPS difference it is, take a picture or whatever with a FPS counter like Fraps. Go in, if you find the game looks alright and you can go lower, go lower, but you have to do this part first. So make sure you do all this. View distance, I have completely changed. I use object fade to about there. Um, active fade a little bit lower, grass fade a little bit lower, item fade a little bit lower. I have a distant object detail set to high. Object detail fade set to medium because literally I, I haven't even noticed things popping in and out. I pay more attention to what's going on sort of close around me rather than distant buildings which I'm not looking at and don't need to look at anyway so why would I want them to look fantastic which I don't even notice and I prefer a smoother running game so that is my settings for the default launcher once you've done that um, you can then exit out of this launcher and what you can do is you can go into the configuration tool I linked get the Fallout 4 config thing out of there and you can just put it on your desktop if you want to Make sure you run this as an administrator, you can do a virus scan on it, it's completely safe. Um, a lot of people have vouched for it and I can personally say it's completely safe. So what you can do now is you can increase your field of view in here, your third person field of view. I personally run 100, I think the default is something like 60. Um, so you can put in your own values. Yours will be different because I have already edited my own files, so you can copy mine if you want to. So I personally use 100 field of view on both of them. Here you can also turn off mouse acceleration and sort out mouse sensitivity. I personally turn mouse acceleration off. 
enable gamepad because I'm not using a gamepad. It can go off because that's just unnecessary shit that's running. You can turn on a VSync lock if you want. It might already be on, but this is personally what I use. I disable the intro video um, and all that snazzy stuff as well. Performance. Enable God Rays. Uncheck. Enable Depth of Field. Uncheck because it's absolutely shite. Enable Bokey, whatever it's called. I enable that because it's absolute shite. Enable CPU high priority, I have that on. Um, you can tweak around with this slightly. Um, if you want to do anything, I recommend potentially sort of halving these values. Um, but personally, I'm not going to touch any of that stuff because that's when stuff can get a bit messy. But you can fiddle around with that if you want. Personally, you can half that to 10, half that to like 2.5. You can do all that. Enable shadows, I have on, but I'm going to turn the shadows down completely by half because I don't need distant, I don't need 3,000 meters of shadows on my screen. I'd rather have them just in the vicinity where I can't notice them. So I personally turn that down by half. Um, UI, you can keep the same, and um, all this stuff pretty much stays the same afterwards. I wouldn't bother going into advanced or anything, so that's completely fine. And uh, all you got to do is hit save, save settings successfully. And all you got to do then is just hit play game. And it will launch your game, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, it might use a different launcher this time, but that's completely fine. If you want to go back, um, I'll link a little thing in the description which you can look at. And it will tell you how to get back to the default launcher. That's completely fine. First off, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a little app called CPU Unpark, which is in my FPS increase thing. What you can do is run this as administrator. What it will allow your system to do is if it needs to use 100% of your CPU, it will do that. Intel has a speed stepping technology, technology which AMD also has as well, very similar. And sometimes it can kind of bug out. Um, normally these things are completely fine, but this basically says to any application on the computer, if it needs to use a lot of CPU, it will let it use all the CPU. It won't increase overheating or anything. It basically just stops Intel from basically bugging itself so um, it's completely safe to use I've been using it for ages so many people have done it so many people have concerns about this program as well and ask always in the comments no this is completely safe it won't increase heat it won't damage your CPU it won't make your CPU die soon it's completely absolutely fine so, so what you want to do is boot the program via administrator and just hit um, check status now your CPUs if you haven't done this before will say parked all you got to do is it Unpark all, wait for it to refresh. Once it says unparked all, you are completely fine. Another thing you can do is overclocking. Um, that can get a bit messy though, so if you don't know what you're doing, I recommend YouTubing your CPU and look for overclocking guides. You're going to have to do that on your own. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. Another thing you can do is overclocking your graphics card with a utility like MSI Afterburner. Again, you'll have to look into that yourself because I'm not looking to help you guys look into overclocking in this video, which I might do in a different one. Also, what you can do is download a utility called CC Cleaner. Now, this basically just re like removes all temporary files set by Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, shit you don't ever use in your computer that you never need in your computer, but it's just backed up there and it can be gigabytes upon gigabytes, which you don't need. So make sure you download this. Uh, you can just hit Run Cleaner. It will delete loads of rubbish that you never use. Don't worry, it won't delete anything safe that you do use. And uh, that will help increase the FPS by tons as well. So that's pretty much it for the FPS guide. Once you hit play game, you will notice that uh, there it will be a huge FPS in, uh, performance increase. You can also change your resolution here. You might want to turn that down if you're still getting low FPS. But like I said, if you're still getting F low FPS, halve these values. Halve these values even more. Keep going lower and lower and lower and lower until eventually. I mean, you can even turn off shadows here and that will increase your performance by a fuck ton. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna save this. So just again, to be safe and we're going to hit play game I'm going to see what the FPS changes have done. Now another thing you can do is head into your documents. Now you won't be able to change your game settings whilst in game. The only way you'll be able to change them is through this launcher because all it does is it sets these INI files that are edited to read only. So if you want to revert back, just uh, uh, highlight them all and just uncheck them from read only but keep them as read only if you don't want to revert back so I never really do that. It's just a little thing in case you guys have um, wondering why you can't change your settings in game. You don't necessarily want to change them in game, you want to change them through this. Uh, that's just a nice quick tip though. Now just as a quick side note, some people might be experiencing their game speeding up by running and lock picking. If you're experiencing this, all you have to do is, there'll be an annotation on the screen now, it'll take you over to another YouTuber's video. He made a very good video on how to cap your frame rate in game. I recommend capping it to around about 120. Um, just keep capping it at different spots until the issue goes away. Find the sweet spot. It's different for most people. Um, personally, my friend found around about 118 frames per second in the cap. Um, he put two, and apparently that worked really well. But personally, I didn't necessarily experience any 
any uh, speed ups it might just be for the occasional person so if you are experiencing that make sure you click on the annotation or head in the description below and there's a video there which will help you solve that problem and there you have it. After the FPS increase, I personally went up by about 60 frames per second. There will be new fixes in the future, and I'll make sure to keep updated with them and post them in this video as well, and maybe some update videos coming out in the future. If you have any more questions or any concerns, please let me know. And just to bring a little side note, in this video here, the colors are a little bit different. Um, that is solely because the time of day in-game has changed. Nothing to do with any of the changes you've made, so that's just a quick side note like in the beginning of the video. But yeah, like I said, if you've got any other questions or any other concerns or need help, comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully this has increased your guys' FPS. Please let me know in the comment section how much more you've got after doing this, and um, make sure you give this video a like, send it to friends who are looking for more frames as well, who this could help, and uh, share it around. It would be much appreciated. This has been Panjana, guys. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, make sure to give it a good like, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and peace out.